It is after sunset and we did see some short-eared owls. Now I've been here before and seen them come out a lot earlier. They didn't come out till late. There wasn't much light, but I got the best shots I was able to get under those conditions. I'm heading to a location where I have seen many owls from a great distance. I've always wanted to travel and get to that spot. Today's the day. And as you can see, it's not necessarily easy going, but if you want to get a view of the owls that no one else has, you got to go where virtually no one ever goes. I looked to my right and saw a song sparrow looking at me with great curiosity. This land used to be a swamp. It was drained for agriculture, but there was still a lot of water left on the ground. I continue to travel through the muck to get to my destination. As I hiked through the water, I looked up and saw a northern harrier flying high in the sky. And I thought to myself how wonderful it would be if I could get a close-up shot. Little did I know I would get that opportunity very soon. And then I came across another bird. There's a bird right there in that tree. Right over there. I put my GoPro down on the ground and tried not to fall on the slippery ground. It was an American tree sparrow. It flew to another spot and looked at me as if to say, Hey buddy, what are you doing here? This is my neighborhood. I took a few photos and I respected his boundaries and I continued on my journey. This place was further away than I figured and my 62 year old body was feeling it. I was a bit tired, but finally I arrived and took a look around. It is a quarter after one and it looks like I have found the spot it is relatively dry here. There's a little bit of water, but I'm wearing waterproof boots, so it's okay. I've got several hours before the owls wake up. I hope I get some good views from this spot. But for now, it's time for this old man to take a break. And this fallen tree looks like the perfect place to sit down and take a rest. I thought about the many birds I might see as I sat there listening to the wind blow through the grass. I just got some great footage and some photos of a northern harrier. When I saw this beautiful harrier fly by, I got up from my roost and began taking photos. I even had time to take some video. This graceful raptor was not very far away and it seemed even closer when I zoomed all the way into 600 millimeters. And then I got another surprise. A hawk just flew right by me. It came from that direction and went that way. I was 
over here in my little cubby hole, I got some great shots, but I haven't identified it yet. <laughs> it looks like this hawk had just captured and swallowed a huge meal, maybe a vole or a frog. It's 4.35 and still I have not seen any short-eared owls. Still have plenty of time. Sunset is not until 6.20 p.m. Short-eared owls are diurnal. They do hunt during the day, but mostly at night. I have seen them out as early as 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but sadly, not today. It is a quarter till six. That means there is only about a half hour or so of light left. I'm still waiting. Come on, owls. The sun continued to set and the light was going fast. Then I saw a gray ghost, a male northern harrier, and it lifted my spirit. Finally, it is 625. The sun has set. However, I have seen some short-eared owls, and so I'm very happy. Yes, I was happy, but I was also disappointed because the light was gone, and I had to use high ISO to get a fast shutter speed. But my photos were grainy. But anyway, I was having a great time, and wow, isn't this awesome? The sun had set and short-eared owls were everywhere. I saw them on top of several trees. I saw them flying back and forth in the sky. I saw them fighting over territory. Even though it was low light and I knew photography would be a struggle, I was still having a great time, folks. Well, it is after sunset, and we did see some short-eared owls, so I'm very happy. No, I did not get the dream shot that I hoped for, but that's for the next time. I am very happy with the shots I did get, and I had a great time. I hope you did too. Till the next time, happy birding. <laughs>